Hey guys, Chris here with Indy Farm Life. Spring in Indiana finally. Never thought it was gonna get here. Feel like we didn't have a fall. Winter was pretty mild, so that was good. So with spring, had lots of rain, which is good for the pond, obviously. Not so good for having to get the weed eater and mower out. Now, I also have a grasshopper, so mowing's not that bad. But my least favorite part's weed eating. I mean, does anyone else agree with me on that? Maybe it's the fact that my weed eater is always a real pain to start. Well, hopefully that changes this year. Last year, end of the season, I replaced my uh, four-stroke Craftsman that I had had for four or five years. Uh, I had accidentally, um, lack of a better word, I accidentally broke it. that there. Now I have to get a new weed eater. Probably a better one. It's a shame. Can't have anything nice. This is actually designed like this. Um, so that when you're using it, you can actually trim your trees up at an angle like such. Super convenient. See, I told you guys it was an accident. I'm out here tamping down my rocks like I do all the time, as everyone should, and someone puts that weed eater right in my way. How was I to know it was there? It's not like it's red or out of place. Whoops. And so I decided to go with something a little better. Um, went with this still FS111R and only used it for a little bit. Like I said, I got it end of last season, but just kind of want to show you some things I like about this so far, some things I don't like, and see how it runs. Like I said, I always had a huge problem with my Craftsman. I could never get it to run right. Had it for four or five years. It was a battle every year to use it. Like I said, I don't know if it was just a faulty engine from the manufacturer when I first got it or what. Uh, but so hopefully, hopefully we'll give this one a shot. Like I said, you guys are gonna see me start it for the first time this year. I've done nothing to it. I didn't really winterize it how it's supposed to. So, Let's take a look and hopefully it fires right up. Like I said guys, I haven't fired this up at all this year. So it's first try, prime it a couple times, set the choke. It's fuel still from last year. I know, I know, some of you guys are gonna say, well, no wonder your weed ears don't run right, you don't take care of them. Uh, but I just had better things to do last year than worry about the gas in the sweet ears. So fire it up and see what we can do. I'm an idiot, there's no gas in it. Let's start there. In my defense, at least I winterized it last year. Good for me. I didn't check it for fuel because that's how little confidence I had that I paid attention to it last year before I did this. Here's a pro tip for you. Most weed ears do need fuel to run. That's a miracle. All right, guys, this is not going to be an all encompassing review of this thing. Really, just going to show you some of the features that I like on it so far, some things I don't like, and uh, like I said, most of the specs. I mean, obviously, you can pull that stuff up online. But let me show you what I like and don't like. All right, so we'll start at the back of it and kind of work our way forward. Uh, the first thing, and it may not be that big of a deal, is just the angle of the cap to fill it. So that one sits straight up. 
I find it much easier to fill that versus trying to fill that one that's at a diagonal. The other thing uh, you'll note about this is that, so the Craftsman over here is a true four cycle, uh, just gas in that ba bad boy and change the oil. This is a four mix motor. So it's like a four cycle, but it still has a gas oil mix, which we always have that around for the chainsaw, so not that big of a deal. So a little difference there. The one thing I do like about the still a whole lot, so it's got three choke settings on it right there, just like the Craftsman. But with the still, when you set it up to, you know, like the, the, the largest choke, the opening, when you're starting it cold after priming it, it will actually, as it runs and warms up, it will kick down to the level it needs to be at. A Craftsman, not so much. Hopefully I don't ever need it on the still, but the adjustment holes for the carburetor are right there. So that's pretty convenient as well. As far as the handles are concerned, I mean, not really that big of a deal. The Craftsman had a strap on as well with the shoulder strap. Uh, it's just not on here right now. One thing, it's not a huge deal that I don't really care for as much on the still, is that it does have the lockout feature like it does on the chainsaws. I get it's for safety. And maybe that wasn't a thing when I bought this several years ago, this Craftsman. But I prefer not to have it. I mean, it is ergonomic, so not really a huge deal to do. Uh, but is another you know lever function to push down as, as you're holding it so another thing that i really liked about the craftsman versus the still so you'll notice here as far as changing out attachments on this craftsman um, it was super convenient there's just the twist of this knob right here the shaft separated so you could take off the weed eater head put on your edger or whatever the still does not um, you can put different attachments on, on this still fs 111r However, it's a head attachment, so it's not quite as convenient or quick. It's more of a, a little bit more in-depth process to do. Also, the attachments for the still are much more expensive. You know, I had an edger for this Craftsman that I think was like 60 bucks. Most of the attachments for the still are well over $100. One of the things I do really like about the still is that open design there on the uh, grass catcher or deflector. It allows you to get through much more uh, dense dense stuff than this being closed up you'll see i put this to the test into last summer um, put it through some pretty heavy stuff when i was still in the market for a new for a new weed eater the other thing about the still i do really like is that the way the head is designed in the string you don't have tall grass wrapping around it like that this happened to me on this craftsman all the time because if you're like me i usually put off weed eating as long as i can and let the grass get way too tall and that ends up happening not with that bad boy the other thing that craftsman really had right and i'm sure several other manufacturers do this too but to feed more string you really took whatever length you want feed it through one side out the other and then this bottom twist so you wind the string like that so you don't have to open anything on this to put on more string which that was pretty sweet but Hmm, the shaft's bent. I don't know how that happened. I definitely didn't throw it when I was frustrated, I promise. Whereas on the still, it's more of your traditional, you have to open up the head to wind the string on this thing. So, not a huge deal. I mean, that holds a lot of string, obviously. But that was a pretty slick setup that the Craftsman had. But, if it doesn't ever run, which it didn't, is it all that convenient? Alright, let's see that bad boy in action. Let's see what kind of power this bad boy's got, huh? baby's got some power Woo! all right guys well hope you found this video pretty helpful like i said there's a million options when it comes to buying a weed eater 
Now, honestly, I had a hard time deciding on what, what to get. Honestly, I, we've always been pretty loyal with our Husqvarna saws. They've all been worked pretty well, but wasn't convinced with uh, with that for the weed eater model. So after a lot of looking, I settled on this FS111R. You know, it's got tons of power. Like I said, it, it does great in super tall grass if you're like me and let it go way too long in between cutting. <clears throat> and the biggest thing for me is that it starts really easily when it has gas pretty much every time. So, hope you found it useful. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Please make sure to check out some more of our uh, footage and uh, keep stopping back. See you guys. Take care. Hey, guys. Chris here with Indy Farm Life. Ha, <laughs> got you. <laughs> Nick's walking away and uh, thought I was talking to him. You know, I understand what Adam's always talking about, but his head being crooked. Just cannot sit right. <laughs>